I used to want to be BG when I was little. <laughs> you know, I used to be like, oh yeah, I'm BG. <laughs> you get the CD, my brother, little, oh, I'm Lil White, I'm BG. I still go back and listen, like, we be on the road, I go back to all the classes. We was going state to state doing shows, I realized I was on the bus. And I said, man, this shit real. <laughs> I'm on the bus with Bird, man, my nigga. And I'm like, damn, this real. Can't make sense of it. Ever. It'll never make sense. Cause he'll never be back. So I never got over it. Uh, even to this day I ain't over it, but I bounced back with the same pain that it gave me, it gave me strength. The fact that he not here, I go harder. Cause I know when he was he wanted me to be great, wanted me to win, wanted me to go hard, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that he not here, I go extra hard. I'm like a brother. <laughs> guidance, um, you know, whatever, encouragement, motivation that, that we can be better than what we was given, you know what I'm saying? So Slim was the outlet of yesterday. I was doing it first, but, you know, he had what we needed to get what we were trying to go. So when he jumped on board, it was like behind him 100% play the backfield. We was enjoying it even when we were broke, even when it was a struggle, even when we ain't had nothing, or, 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 or we was house to house or whatever. We was enjoying it because it was us. We were together. It was a movement. It was a team. Since day one, we was enjoying it. But I guess we enjoyed it when we when we finally went on the road for the first time. We were like, bro, we can lead Clayton County, bro. We can rap. We can do this the right way. And we can see stuff we ain't never seen. And I think that's really what kind of opened up a lot of our eyes to some different stuff. It's like we went from selling Three dollar sacks of mid, the rapping and being able to put money in our partner pocket and go home and be like, yeah, I can buy some, some diaper today. He ain't talking about. So yeah, we was right there in our mind, even though it wasn't much to us, it was everything. Me, Slim, Chad, Day Day, J Mike, Cannon, Julio, Noon, Kenny B. <laughs> It's a lot of, I couldn't even name everything. Red Crew, Zan Crew, family. So we were from Clayton County, the South Side. Land of the Lost, niggas is crazy out there. It's dinosaurs out there for real. Niggas getting fossilized. <laughs> it's like, it's, 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 it's too little for it to be so much problems. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you can walk down the street, get knocked off, go up the street, knock somebody off. It's like kind of all the projects got towed down and everybody came over there. Like, they ain't had nowhere else to go, so they were there. Really, just to be honest, we were just garage rapping, basement rapping. And wherever we at with it, we passing it out, sending it here. Um, then the email shit started happening. We started figuring out mean people and, oh, here go my song. Then we mean DJ, sending the DJ, Dark Game, BSM, Bridge Squad. It was just one big family. We all elevated. Everybody just started elevating from Southside with beats, Walker with music, Dunk with music, Gucci started growing bigger and bigger, opening up a different atmosphere. Uh, so now we going places we ain't never thought we'd be. I learned a lot from Gucci too, you know what I'm saying, as far as not being like a person that don't want to see nobody else win. Like, if you want, if, if Gucci got a show and you, you rap, he'll let you rap. Oh yeah, you go on here, perform, do this, do that, you know what I'm saying? We ride with him. It done been time we gone to a bus with him. He'll stay up late night, talk to us about a lot of shit. So he was just like a big dog, like a brother, like showing us the shit. Whatever he done went through already with this shit, he passing it on so we know not to do the same shit or make the same mistakes or what we could do better. The hard way. No hand out, no give me this. Asking, begging, getting up, getting it, striving, struggling through the pain, through the rain, through the tears, through the blood, the mud, getting it hard away. Hard to the point where I lost myself. So I really didn't know what to do. So, like, um, hard to the point of concrete hard, like, just the end of it, it's done, over with. When I realized I was losing everything close to me, um, you know, not spending time with my kids as much as I wanted to not seeing my family as much as I wanted to and knowing I ain't got a dollar in my pocket, but I'm still going. And losing my brother, my cousin, two months after that, it was like, oh, this ain't for me. 
the thought behind it was, you know, you take a pain pill for pain. So I was like, pill, pain is love. But the theory behind it is just, um, if I tell you I love you, don't play with me. I don't lost so many people. I don't love to the streets and the jail. Don't be fake. Don't let me lose you to no fake shit. Ain't no money gonna change us. The environment ain't gonna change us because we gonna train with everything. When you care about somebody, you care about how they feel or you care about what they going through. Like, that same pain that hurt them hurt you. So you know what I'm saying? It's like, don't play with me because I give you everything I got. The last dollar out of my pocket, the shirt off my back, socks off my feet. Or I figure out how to get you the new shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if I tell you I love you, don't play with me. It's a generation gap. I think that everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So it ain't no, it's not facts. So you can't say this is or this ain't. If this is my opinion, then this is my opinion. Cause this is, we on the whole, this is two different things. It's about the accolades. I'm getting money, you got money. We, I'm buying whips, you bought whips. Are you buying whips? Whatever the case may be, we doing music. We in the same business. Certain people I listen to for the real deal lyrics. Certain people I listen to to bounce around. Certain people I listen to to get with a hoe. Certain people I listen to to smoke, drink. Certain people I listen to just to get through the day. I might buy a car and go listen to some Nelly shit or something, you know what I'm saying? Just because it's Nelly. I'm coming down, down, baby, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell you, I honestly think they listen to my music to have a chance to be heard, if that makes sense. Like, so many people want to say what I'm saying, or so many people want the world to hear what, I'm, uh, uh, hear what they feel. And when I say it, it's like, yes, man, somebody finally got to him saying some shit I need to hear right now. Like, I'd be like, damn, my pain make you feel like that? Damn, I wish I had a, well, I did. Tupac made me feel like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm you know what I mean? But I ain't never think, and not to compare myself to Pac or nothing like that, but I would never think I would have the same effect on people with my pain. Rap about struggles, pain, problems, people, uh, jealousy, greed, hate, power. Like all that right there is, 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 is something that I was going through and it made me feel like I know him personally. Like if he rap about Brendan got a baby, I know a bit down the street, 15 years old, pregnant too, and I be feeling bad for him. But you know what I mean? Other niggas may be like, dumb bitch, and I feel bad, like no. But then you got this hoe right here, you'll say, you wonder why they call you bitch. You know what I'm saying? How you want a girl? Shit, I'm up today, you know what I mean? It ain't none, but if I had some, I would want to be with my kids. Just chilling with them, watching cartoon movies or whatever the case may be. My daughter is 10, my son is 7. Well, see, my son just think he just grown or something. He be trying to watch whatever I'm looking at. My daughter, she like a uh, high school musical. And um, I can't, it's some cartoon with the girl and some man on the water. Mo, mo, uh, yeah, that, <laughs> uh, you know, whatever else she got going on. I just, I ain't, you know, do your thing. <laughs> My daughter be singing. She sang like good church music or whatever the case may be. She, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, you might do it one day. But I ain't gonna pressure her to do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let her do whatever she wanna do.